What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest USB extended or quad sword ROM on this device and I have been using the latest build of this let me show you by going into the about phone section so in the android version as you can see this is of course based on android 10 and the paranoid android version is quads 4 the security patch is latest of july 5th 2020 and here the based band version and the stock kernel version is fixie kernel as you can see it shows fixie head and the build number over here you can see so this is how the system updater panel looks like and as you can see it looks like this the build date is kind of weird as you can see it says 21st July 2020 Paranoid Android Quads for official build over here but if you click on the download link then you see this is the 18th July 2020 build version and you can see the change logs and stuff. The good thing over here is that this ROM right now includes the G apps earlier it was not the case we needed to flash the G apps separately but right now it comes preloaded with the G apps so you don't need to flash any G apps and if you want to flash this ROM click on the card right there. To flash any custom ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. And I flashed with pretty simple things like the latest R11 version of Orange Box Recovery. And I have used the 12.0.2 vendor over here. And I have flashed the ROM with Fcrypt Disveller because my storage is decrypted. Now, here, let me share my experience with you guys. Well, the stock launcher, well, it is great, it's smooth enough, and everything is like fluid in this ROM. I don't feel it is laggy or stuttery at all. It did not give me any like four stops or random reboots or something so the user experience over here have been great with the ui now let me quickly show you the stock launcher settings and here as you can see this is how the settings panel looks like we have the icon pack changing option then show google app and allow home screen rotation and stuff is there add icon to home screen is there notification dots is there but let me tell you my most like disappointing thing about this which i feel is that this suggestion section I cannot simply disable this section over here so that's one thing that I do not like about this launcher and we do have the double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen so it makes the phone lock now to the left of the home screen of course we have the Google now cards and swiping down gets you to the notification panel or the quick settings panel over here so those things are pretty simple and widgets and stuff are working fine actually but I don't know why it did not load as you can see right now it is working fine and in terms of the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and over here you can add a bunch of stuff like these options are there there is also nfc option if you have a global device you can use that for indian devices this is not really useful and over here we have this focus mode bedtime etc everything is there these are the apps quick toggles i guess but there is no fps info that i simply could not find over here the fps info is just missing let me show you the screen recorder over here as you can see we can change the audio source to internal or the microphone over here or you can disable it if you want to and the screen recorder actually works fine you can enable the taps and stuff but you cannot change the fps and stuff now let me quickly talk about one more disappointing thing over here that is this stock camera over here i did not even open it as you can see and this is the old kind of google camera which is the stock camera and that thing i simply do not like over here pretty basic camera it works but like the pictures coming out of this camera is not that great i don't like it so i installed the anx camera and if you don't know how to install the anx camera here is a card for you watch the first part of that video you will see the portrait mode and stuff everything is working fine let me show you the video settings here as you can see we have the 4k 60 fps option with the rear camera over here and if i switch to the front camera let me show you we have the 1080p 30 fps option and the front camera led and stuff is working fine here as you can see i have also installed google camera 7 this is working fine too and if you want this google camera again you can click on the card right there and with this google camera night sight and stuff everything is working so you don't need to worry about the google camera and even switching lenses and stuff with the anx camera and google camera both are working fine and inside gestures inside system we get some customizations over here inside system navigation gesture this is how it looks like and you can go to the settings over here you can adjust the gesture bar size or you can hide the navigation bar pill if you want to and this is how long the navigation bar pill is you can see and two and three button navigation is there too for the three button navigation we also have this swap back and recent button option so that is good let me go back we have this prevent ringing swipe take screenshot and stuff is there as you can see this is the oxygen OS kind of screenshot so we have the share edit and long screenshot and delete option and here we have the adaptive playback screen of gesture is there double tap to wake is actually working fine so you should not worry about that playback control and quick torch both are there 
as you can see if you hold the power button when the device is locked it will like toggle the torch and right now we get google keyboard as default keyboard over here so that's not a problem inside security we have the fingerprint face unlock and the app locker and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here as you can see it unlocked now but like previously it was not unlocking for some reason let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed again So yeah, the fingerprint scanner speed is fine. I mean, right now it is taking a little bit longer, but usually it unlocks very fast. Let me show you again, as you can see. Let's do it from the lock screen with the left thumb. And as you can see, it unlocked. I did not feel it's like laggy or something. Let me show you with night light turned on from the always on display, as you can see unlocked. Now let's try with the always on display when the night light is turned on with the left thumb unlocked. Now I'll try with the lock screen with the right thumb night light turned on and unlocked. Now with the left thumb night light turned on and again unlocked. So no issues with the fingerprint scanner over here. That's what I feel. The fingerprint scanner is working great over here. I do not have any issues with it. This is how the setup wizard looks like of the face unlock as you can see. Let me agree. Okay. Now I will do double tap to sleep and double tap to wake. And as you can see it wakes the device whenever I double tap and it unlocks the device with the face unlock. Let me show you again and as you can see the unlocking speed with the like face unlock is really fast. I do not have any issues with that. So yep we do have this swipe to unlock option. So if you enable this as you can see we can like have that swiping up thing from the lock screen. Right now if I double tap as you can see it does not pop out the front camera. So I have to swipe up then only it will pop out the front camera and it will unlock. And the app lock and stuff is working fine actually as you can see over here. And you can use the pin or use the fingerprint scanner or you can use even the face unlock for this app locker. So that is really good. Right now let me show you the app locking like unlocking speed. As you can see it unlocked pretty fast. So no issues with the app locking over here on this ROM. But I'll show you one issue that I found still. So later on I'll show you those but let me focus on the other things on this ROM right now. Inside network now you can go into this mobile network earlier it was not possible it was showing some error and here we do have the Wi-Fi calling as you can see and the Wi-Fi calling and stuff everything is working fine and let me show you the stock dialer. So this is how the in-call UI looks like as you can see and we have the video calling option then the call pausing option or the hold option adding call option and stuff is there but there is no stock call recording option as of right now so that is a bummer as it's a google dialer it does not have the call recording option now let's jump into the battery settings we do not have any battery temperature over here it does not show the charging info on the lock screen it just shows charging rapidly if you charge with the 18 watt fast charger but 18 watt fast charging is actually working fine here now talking about battery life over here i would say the battery life is still great that is the most like beautiful thing about this rom is the battery life i can get about eight plus hours of screen on time with every single charge you can see the full usage by tapping over here and you have the battery saver battery manager battery percentage everything and screen on time comes up over here and you can see with the screenshots the battery life is good enough in the display settings this is how the display settings looks like we have the night light and here we have the scheduling option for the night light and adaptive or auto brightness is there dark theme you can use that or schedule that if you want to it works fine and inside wallpapers let me show you if i go on device wallpapers as you can see there are pretty beautiful wallpapers over here by default and these look amazing i have been using this one looks very beautiful to me at least let me go back we also have this pride landscape and texture and earth art etc wallpapers over here i think this is from the google's like styles and wallpapers app and with the stock launcher settings over here if you like tap and hold on the home screen if you go styles and wallpapers in the styles we have this customization section and from here if you tap next next you get these many accent colors over here on this rom as you can see plethora of options are actually there so you can have any accent color you just like customly set up a theme and apply that to have that like custom accent color in the clock settings this is how it looks like we get this four lock screen clocks if you want them and grid option is there so you can choose from 5 by 5 to 2 by 2 grid lock screen display is there so always on display and stuff you can turn it off if you want to and the pulse is there this is the notification pulse or edge lighting you can use that even with system accent color 
and then we have the pocket detection option and this actually works let me show you by locking the device and as you can see on the always on display if i cover the top of the display as you can see it shows something and then we have this icon manager over here and as you can see there are plethora of options but no option for the vaulty icon or something so vaulty icon is simply not there but you can enable headset bluetooth etc icons from here and we do have the ambient display mode so we can have this wake up pick up etc options let me go back to the sounds here if you scroll down we do not have any me audio dirac or such things but you can disable the screenshot sound touch sound and we have the vibration and haptic feedback and in call vibration and stuff is there five bit for calls is there and ringtone vibration you can change this to these many patterns and by the way this is how the volume panel looks like and as you can see you can like swipe up or down to control them and this actually gives a little bit of haptic feedback over here so feels great with the haptic feedback the volume panel looks pretty beautiful advanced reboot option and stuff is there over here you have, if you want to advance reboot you have to hold on the restart button then you will get this advanced reboot feature so that i have noticed i have been accidentally clicking on restart a lot of times to like boot into the recovery and stuff yes there are not a lot of customizations like the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar and stuff those things are simply not there so do not expect a lot of customizations this is a AOSP based rom and as this rom comes preloaded right now with g apps so that means the google assistant and stuff those kind of triggers are working fine and right now it works flawlessly over here every time as you can see google assistant has been working fine no issues with the google assistant and the DRM info shows as a level 1 here so you should not have any problems with Netflix or Amazon Prime's 1080p videos and banking apps over here does work fine right out of the box I did set up my Google Pay and it has been working fine so no issues with banking apps over here on this ROM at least out of the box now let's talk about the bummers of this ROM or why I will not recommend flashing this ROM on your device let's assume there is a pop-up or like chat head over here like this this is a picture in picture kind of mode i guess so yeah android gets it as a like pop-up or picture in picture window so let's assume this is there so right now if i try to open an app which i have locked with the app locker let's assume this one so right now if i tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it simply does not register it does not give me any haptic feedbacks so that is one like con i have seen over here that if you have any pop on the screen or if you have YouTube premium or something you are watching YouTube over here and you want to open the app which you have locked that you cannot simply open with the fingerprint scanner you have to use either the face unlock feature of the app lock or you have to use the pin or you can like close this pop up over here or the chat head then you can like open the app with the fingerprint scanner so that is one thing that I have noticed this bug needs to be fixed and it is a little bit annoying in my opinion yes it's great we have app lock we want to actually use it right now one more thing that really disappointed me again is that the like whenever you are connected to a headphone and you're using a headphones mic and you're calling someone in whatsapp or google duo then the volume is simply too low over here so you, the other party cannot simply hear you or there is too much noise so the volume over here with the calling and stuff in whatsapp or google duo is just bad so i won't recommend you guys using this rom as like a daily driver just because of that thing it is really annoying now one more thing that i want to mention here is that whenever you have a headset connected and right now as you can see there is a headset connected the sound output is great actually i do not have any complaints but let me show you what are what are my complaints let's assume i'm using this volume rockers if i tap this as you can see it's doing weird stuff to open the camera let's tap it again okay so it switched to the pro mode so I don't know how and why it does that. Let me play something on YouTube. So let's assume I'm playing a video over here and I cannot really control the volume. As you can see, it shows me to pause the video or something. I can pause it or play it with the like middle button, but the volume rocker simply does not work over here on this ROM. And that is really a bummer for me. But the sound output is actually great over here. So with that, I don't have a problem, but these kind of little things does matter. And the sound output via Bluetooth 2 is great, but one thing that I have been noticing with the latest firmware ROMs, I think with the latest firmware this is a problem. Whenever you are connected to a Bluetooth headset, it does not show up on the status bar, but it has like connected to the device and the audio is playing, but it does not show up on the status bar or even on the toggle it does not show up for some reason. Now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the RAM management over here. Let's open Twitter, Play Store, YouTube. 
Instagram. Now let's open this Google Home, Amazon, Flipkart, this Me Store. Now let's open all these apps from memory again, Chrome, Facebook, well it looks like it's reloading. Let me open them again, Play Store, YouTube still in memory, Instagram still in memory. Now let's open Amazon, still in memory, Flipkart is in memory, Me Store is in memory. The memory management seems good but like it closed those apps for some reason for the first time but right now it has all those apps in memory. I would say the memory management and app opening up speed with like daily driving performance over here I have no complaints with this ROM. The performance over here is just great. And here is the Android 2 and Geekbench score for this ROM. And like you can get up to HDR and extreme settings on PUBG. On the Call of Duty you can get anti-aliasing and stuff with very high quality. But for those reasons which I have mentioned, it might be a bummer for you if you are someone who uses a lot of WhatsApp calls or Google calls or any app related calls over here. I would not recommend you guys flashing this ROM. So thank you so much for watching this guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.